Preliminary investigations revealed that the pair were driven by the confirmed case to Ibadan, where they stayed for two weeks and arrived at Doikiti, Ekiti State, on 13 March 2020. Joining us live is the Ekiti State Health Commissioner, Dr. Mojishola Yaya Kolade, to throw more light on this new development. Good morning to you, Doctor. Good morning. There are conflicting reports on the account of the suspected case of coronavirus in Ekiti. Can you give us a first-hand information on the case, please? Okay, thank you very much. But basically, the young man that passed on is a 27-year-old male Caucasian that has other conditions before coming into Nigeria and before coming to Ekiti. He died of complications of his illness. Uh, the test that was performed on him was negative for COVID, but the sample was taken after he passed on, because that was when we were called in. But the chauffeur, the driver that was driving this young man around tested positive. He is a 38-year-old male, a Kiti indigen that lives in Ibadan or your state. That's what we have. The female companion that accompanying him to Ekiti State is the test is still negative. For the young man that passed on, the test is inconclusive. When the test is inconclusive, that means he may still be negative, he may still be positive, so nobody is sure. All right, Dr. Mujit, now, there were, earlier on, there were conflicting reports about the personality of the person who died. Can you just once again, for the sakes of clarity to the public, just tell us who actually passed on from these complications? Okay, the young man that passed on is a 27-year-old male Caucasian from Virginia in America. Okay. Now, now, what steps have been taken to actually curtail and forestall the spread of this virus in Ekiti State as it is right now? Immediately, we were called on the task force. We started contact tracing. So all the contacts from the private hospital where they took the, the patient to first, we have contacted them. On the other hospital, they are very much aware and everybody is under quarantine. And WHO is supporting, and UNICEF called already, and they will be coming on board to support us too. Now, now prior to this case in Ekiti, um, how prepared was the state government just in case there was going to be a confirmed case in the state? What was the level of preparedness? They said we are very, very, very prepared. There is nothing that needed to be done that we are not doing. We have educated people, we are sensitizing people. Our hospital isolation center is being equipped with all the necessary things. And all our doctors and uh, consultants are at a lot. Everybody has been educated on the case management, what to do. And we have an emergency number, which is 112. We instructed everybody, if you see signs and symptoms, we have an emergency center that they can call. Once you call the 112, that number will ring and the medical personnel will get information and will contact the, the maybe infected suspected case and will give them all the required information and what to do. And if they needed to be evacuated, two ambulances have been given by His Excellency Dr. John Cowdy fired me that we will use to evacuate the patient to the isolation center. Uh, Dr. Moji, just before I let you go this morning, can, can you tell us the situation report on the driver who drove the American and tested positive and also the caregiver? Are they in isolation right now? Yes, both of them. Actually, the driver is on the section of the isolation center for a confirmed case, and the other lady is on the side for suspected case. So both are in our, they are with us in our center. Commissioner for Health, take it to state, Dr. Mojishola Yaya Koladi. Thank you for joining us and for your contribution. Thank you very much.